Unless you live without internet, you have probably heard this word NFT. Some people say it's a bubble, some say it's the future. What's the value of NFT? Well, I'm not here to talk about that. This video is an overview of what and house of NFTs. What are the processes involved and where you can create an NFT. A quick disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Always do your research before investing your money into crypto and you are fully responsible for what you do with your money. So let's get started. So NFT stands for non-fungible token. That is a unique image which you own the rights for. Turning a digital file into a digital asset on the blockchain using some NFT marketplace is known as minting. And whenever you mint an NFT, you have to pay a fees which is known as the gas fees. So what are the requirements to create an NFT? You need basically four things. Cryptocurrency, a wallet to hold that crypto, a digital file which you will mint as an NFT and a marketplace account. A marketplace or specifically an NFT marketplace is a website where you can sell your digital files or JPEGs as NFTs. If you visit a website currently on the web such as Google or Amazon, you can sign in directly using your email and create an account. But if you want to create an account on the newer NFT websites also known as Web3, you need a wallet which can hold crypto and you just connect your wallet and that signs you up for that website. An email might be required later in the process but to start you need a wallet and it will act as your account on that website. As for what can be turned into an NFT, it can be a drawing you made digitally, a photograph you took, a photograph of a drawing that you made on paper. As long as you are the original creator of that image and you hold the rights to sell that image, you can mint it as an NFT. Also, you should not mint something directly copied from the internet like Pinterest or directly copied from some other artist. And it can be any digital file that is supported. Some of them are MP4, JPEG, GIF, PNG among other formats. So if you are in India and you are looking to start your NFT journey, here are some of the marketplaces that I have used or I wish to use in future. These are the most popular ones also. I'll start with the marketplaces and then I'll cover the crypto and wallet part. So I'll be comparing these marketplaces based on the smart chain, what gas fees you pay to mint one NFT and what is the verification procedure if any on these platforms. So for the very first marketplace, I'll start with OpenSea and specifically the Polygon network or the Matic network. So there's no cost to mint on the Matic network. So it is basically free to start and there's no verification process also. You can just connect your wallet and start minting instantly. The second on our list is Object. It is a Tezos based marketplace and the cost of minting is around 25 to 40 rupees. The verification process is instant and you just have to connect your wallet and you can mint instantly. Next on the list is Vazirx NFT. It's based on the Binance Smart Chain and the cost to mint one NFT is around 75 to 90 rupees. It varies with the BNP price. But there's a verification process on this and it can take from as low as two weeks and as much as six or more weeks to get verified on the platform. And only after that you can start minting on this platform. Next on the list is again OpenSea, but this time on the Ethereum chain. So on OpenSea, if you mint on the polygon network it's totally free but if you mint on the ethereum chain you have to pay a one-time initialization fees of 60 to 150 dollars keep in mind it's not in indian rupee it's in dollars you can check the gas fee you can see the current gas fees at the time of recording of this video is 181 dollars it does not stay same every time throughout the day it ranges from around 50 to 60 dollars to a high of around $200 or more even sometimes. There is no verification process though. You just connect your wallet and you can mint instantly on the Ethereum network. Although this is only a one-time fees, that is you pay only once to register your account and then you can mint as many NFTs you want for free. But there are other fees like if you want to cancel a listing or delist something, you have to pay a fees. If you want to increase the price of a listing, 
you have to pay the same gas fees so you might want to consider that also next is the fnd or foundation foundation is also based on the ethereum chain and the cost to mint an nft varies similar to OpenSea. it fluctuates from around 50 to 200 plus throughout the day so you can use the same website to check foundation prices but after you mint an nft there is also a different fee to list the nft for actual sale so you have to pay this fees twice that is once for minting and another for listing on all of the websites we have talked before this the cost i have shown is collective for minting and listing so for foundation the collective fees is at the time of this video around 300 dollars and it keeps fluctuating but keep in mind that for OpenSea, it's like 181 dollars for one time and on foundation it's like 300 dollars per nft so every time you want to mint and list an NFT, you have to pay this gas fees. Also, FND is an invite based platform. So you cannot go to FND and connect your wallet and start minting. You actually have to get an invite from someone who is on the platform and you can find these invites on Twitter threads. If you search for FND invites or if you join, join some NFT community, you can find some foundation invites. There are always giveaways happening of foundation invites. Do not ask me for an invite because I'm not yet on foundation. So I cannot give you a, an FND invite. So now let's talk about the crypto and the wallet part. To get crypto, you have to use some exchange like Binance or Vazirx and then you have to send it to a wallet which can hold crypto such as Metamask or Trust Wallet in case of Ethereum and BNB smart chains and Temple or Kukai in case of Tezos based smart chains. Then for all of these websites the basic procedure is simple. You find the wallet button, you connect the wallet and choose your wallet and you can start minting if there is no verification or you can fill the verification form if there is one. So which platform is best to use? I cannot answer that question for you. But if you are a complete beginner, you can start off with object or fuzzy eggs or OpenSea and try out if NFTs are for you or not. And then if you want to continue, you can shift to OpenSea and then to foundation. Most people choose that route, but if you have the funds and you have good art, you can go directly on OpenSea. That brings us to the question of how to mint an NFT. You can click this video on the screen, which will take you to the playlist of how you can actually create a wallet, get some crypto, and mint your first NFT. The playlist is in sequence, so it would be better if you watch it in sequence. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer as much as possible. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.